Hello everybody, Michael LeBlanc here, sitting with you wherever you are. Now, since it's Earth Month, I thought we would get a chance to talk about something that's very close to the surface of this planet, and that of course is the people who are on it. They're spread everywhere, and to feed billions of them requires a lot of organization and a lot of science. There is a documentary out there that I just recently watched at the behest of somebody else called Food Incorporated. This documentary was made back in 2008 by Robert Kenner. Uh, excuse me, if I look off screen, I got notes. I want to make sure I get this right. And the whole premise of this documentary was to show the harmful effects of humans to themselves. They, and by they, I mean humans, made genetically modified foods. Uh, they have developed ways into mass producing meat uh, quicker and the way that they slaughter them can be quicker as well. There was a pretty dark overall theme of the video and it was it was hard to watch at times. Now if you are somebody who doesn't like the imagery associated or around the slaughter of animals, I don't recommend you see it. But the things that did come out of it were the way that the animals were being treated resulted directly in how we were being poisoned. A lot of this stems from corn and how corn is being used to feed everything. Cows, pigs, chickens, humans, a lot of things are being fed corn out there. And for some animals, this actually gives an adverse effect, such as in cows, if you force feed them corn, and that's really all you feed them, plus a few other things here and there, they develop in their gut a form of E. coli that can be very viciously detrimental to human life. In fact, one kid, whose mother was very prevalent through the film, ate it and 12 days later died uh, due to complications due to E. coli. It was not a pretty video at all and it really brought to light how dependent we are on corn and how we are dependent on a lot of industrial processing of our foods. Now this doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop going out to the grocery store right now, that's my best source of food. Farmer's markets aren't a thing, even though I would like them to be. And I really kind of question eating out on fast food after watching this, but I'll probably do it because it's cheap. And this was the cycle, of course, that was addressed as well. A lot of people out there will say that they'll eat the cheap cheeseburger instead of getting a whole bunch of expensive vegetables because of the overhead cost it requires to get that vegetable into the market. It was not really a pretty thing to think about and to think about how many times I have decided to eat something fast food because of the fact that it's cheaper, I'm wondering what I've done to my body. And maybe that was the part and parcel of this entire video. Now, when I say that corn is everywhere, it's not just in us. It's also in the things that we use. For example, uh, we have plastics. Right here, we have a cup that is made out of corn. This thing is going to biodegrade. It may not be quick, but that is what it's there. It's, it's there to do. It's there to biodegrade. We also have, and maybe not in these right here, but batteries also can contain corn. Hand sanitizer. This contains corn. We also have cough drops here. Those also contain corn. Diapers and matchsticks. Not all of them, not all brands, but they are used. Corn has become a daily staple in our life, in the things that we use, in our stomachs, and in the animals that we feed. But just because we can doesn't mean necessarily that we should. At least that's what the idea of this video was. It's not attacking the way that we do things, but it is shedding a light, maybe asking some good questions on how we can live life and how we can make our life better by going back to some more classic ways of taking care of food. But I don't have the answers. I thought I'd just give you guys a chance to see it for yourself. And if it's something that you feel like that you want to talk to people about, go ahead. People are at home right now and it's a perfect time to sit here and listen to the opinions of people. Or it's a perfect time to watch documentaries about the earth and maybe feel a little bit better about the rock that we're on and maybe not so much about what's out there keeping us at home. I'm going to put a link in the video below guys. I hope you guys watch it and 
if so you do watch it that it sparks something inside of you maybe we can all bring together a little change like i said it's earth month let's take care of this earth the best that we can as always thank you so much for watching i love every single one of you and save me a seat we'll do this again sometime